Donald Trump and JD and Elon and the rest of the billionaires, they got a little bit different idea. And they did us a favor, actually, this time. I have to be careful. I said they don't have a plan. They do have a plan. Well, I have a concept of a plan on, on health care. <laughs> they do have a plan. There's Project 2025, which I'm glad all of you know about now, that you know what's in there. That's good. Now, JD on the debate stage, which I'm standing there saying, I can't believe you're saying these things because we all know they're not true. But the one thing he said was is, Donald Trump has been a champion and a protector of the ACA. <laughs> Donald Trump, the famously big fan of Obamacare. There might be somebody here who will have a few words about that in a little bit here. We'll see. But, uh, a bit of a perspective. Look, come on. They tried 60 times. They filed lawsuits. Donald Trump said anything. And if it wasn't for the courage of John McCain walking out and saying no, they would have ripped health care away from him. Might be one of the reasons where John McCain's son, Jim, is with us on this battle. They're with us. You know they'll come after Social Security and, and Medicare, and I, I say this again. From their perspective, I guess for Donald Trump, it probably is simple. He doesn't give a damn if his Social Security check shows up. He, is, he has been qualified for Social Security for many years, by the way, too, in his age. He's a, he's a nearly 80-year-old man, so he has known that Social Security is there. But you know what? He doesn't care because he sits down at Mar-a-Lago. You know who does care? All of our parents, like my mom. She needs her check to pay her heating bill and make sure she can eat. We need to protect Social Security. And, and the real question that people are going through, McDonald's, are going to be asked is, uh, do you want a Trump tax cut with those fries? Or tax, tax increase? Because you're not going to get it. If you're a billionaire coming through the line, you'll get it. If you're the rest of us, 20% increase from his tariffs, having $4,000 a year to our cost. That's what you're going to get. But he called it. Look, they're, they're working on this. He called it. He calls it now. Get this word. Positive taxation. I heard some of you say it. You call it bullshit. That's right. That's right. Because that positive increase is $4,000 on your family. That's not us saying it. That's every economist. Oh, don't listen to the economists. Don't listen to the doctors. Don't listen to the, uh, the experts in foreign policy. Listen to Donald Trump, who's failed at everything he's ever done in his life. That's it. Now look. My guess is, my guess is, in here are some old school Republicans or independents in this group today, and we know they're across the country. They remember the old Republican Party added to this country, and when they talked about freedom, they actually meant it. That's not who Donald Trump is. Donald Trump means government's freedom to invade your bedroom, invade your exam room, invade your library, hell invade anywhere. He's talking about using the army against folks. So we'll, you know, we know where that's going. We don't overthink this. Things work best in neighborhoods. They work best in communities. They work best in states. They work best in countries. If you just follow that golden rule of minding your own damn business and things work fine. Things work fine.